So fundamentally, we were really excited about AI and uh, all the progress that AI will bring for uh, science, technology, and society as a whole. But then uh, with every powerful technology, uh, of course, there's also uh, things that we need to change, new systems we need to build to make the technology truly beneficial for everyone. One of the specific things that we uh, care about is this idea of uh, verifying to each other and to some of the uh, services that we use, like our social networks, um, our games, our dating platforms, whatever it is, to actually know that we are interacting with a human. And uh, similarly, uh, deep fakes are becoming an increasing concern. What uh, we expect and know will happen over the next uh, 12 to 24 months is that these AI systems become increasingly agentic. So uh, they don't just respond to one question you ask them, but rather they go off and uh, they do a certain number of tasks. And with that, uh, I expect that over the next five years, almost everything on the internet will be somewhat generated or created by AI, or most of your interactions will be with AI. And uh, that will be good for most things, uh, but for many of the things that we really care about, we will need to understand that we interact with humans. So we think uh, proof of human is gonna turn out to be a fundamental infrastructure for the internet, and uh, that's one of the things that we built. And it is called World ID, and lets you verify your humanness to platforms and to your friends uh, without revealing anything else about yourself. We started working on this about five years ago. Sam started the company. Uh, right before that, I was, I was a scientist. So I was, uh, I was working on AI, actually, uh, on the research side. And, well, Sam pitched me the project. and was like, look, I think AI progress will continue and we will need uh, tools and systems on a global scale uh, to react to all the changes that are coming. It will be the largest real human network on the internet and will give uh, financial primitives, identity primitives, and community primitives to truly every human on the internet. That's what we try to do. And here we are. I think the, the first use cases that we see and that we're excited about are uh, within gaming, for example. Like uh, gamers, of course, really care that they, that they uh, game with other people and not bots. And so we already see uh, many of the younger games doing it, but now uh, very soon you will see much larger announcements of larger gaming platforms using World ID. Uh, second, uh, I think over the coming months you will see some of the larger social networks using it. And then we have what we call mini apps, which is a, a way for developers, entrepreneurs to build applications on World that might be useful for people. And uh, we have three, four million users a week on these apps and we already have quite a large ecosystem. And so one thing I expect to have in Thailand, and I hope to see in Thailand, is that Thailand has a lot of very talented uh, entrepreneurs, uh, engineers, uh, that uh, hopefully this platform is useful. And we see Thai entrepreneurs and founders uh, start new businesses or companies on top of our platform. Uh, I think Thailand is going to play a very critical role uh, in technology in Asia in the coming years. So I think Thailand already plays a big role, but will increasingly do so. And that's why it's a focus for us uh, to kind of really have a strong uh, presence in Thailand. And, and then also the, the government was extremely welcoming to us. And we are uh, working with uh, TIDC, for example, here uh, in Thailand. And uh, so yeah, we are launching here today uh, and then we will double down and scale uh, throughout the country. And within 12 to 24 months, you will probably see thousands of these uh, verification locations across Thailand. Probably a meaningful collaboration with the government and probably a meaningful collaboration with many of the big companies here. It's very simple. You download an app. Uh, currently, it's World App. Uh, you have to verify once. So you have to go to one of those physical devices uh, and verify your World ID. All of that is anonymous and privacy preserving. Uh, and you essentially you see a map of here's where the next verification location is. You can go there, you can book an appointment, depending what kind of location it is. You show up, you verify, and you have a verified world ID. And then afterwards, you can just use World App. You can use mini apps, and you can, can, re you can use World ID uh, for some of the larger platforms. Uh, hopefully, uh, a large percentage of everyone in Thailand that uses well, digital services or the internet will eventually use our platform. 
uh, I think there's something very exciting about uh, working together as a kind of a Californian American company with other founders and entrepreneurs around the world and find ways to make them successful. Success here means that the vast majority of humanity uses our platforms uh, in their daily lives for many of the things that they do. So that's the very short summary of a probably 10-year journey.